Hi, my name is Arno Schmerer and I'm a Cloud Solution Architect for VMware's Cloud Provider Software Business Unit. In today's Lightboard session, we're going to be demonstrating the benefits and advantages of cons consuming Cloud Foundation resources in a vCloud Director environment. In doing this, we will first describe the general characteristics and benefits of VMware Cloud Foundation. And second, we will give some context to the Cloud Provider Platform or vCloud Director uh, use case. And uh, we will describe a use case why VMware Cloud Foundation is especially useful in a Cloud Director environment. So let's start off by first uh, describing a typical cloud provider platform stack. On top, we have vCloud Director as the core component of implementing our orchestration and automation layer. Right below here, we have the SDDC platform, which comprises vSphere as our virtualized compute layer vSAN as our virtualized storage layer, and NSX as our virtualized network layer. This SDDC platform is implemented in our discussion by VCF, VMware Cloud Foundation. But what makes an SDDC platform implemented by VMware Cloud Foundation so special? It's a component called the SDDC Manager. The SDDC Manager ties all these SDDC platform components together by providing automation and standardization. But what is automated and standardized by SDDC Manager? First, we have a feature called Automated Bring Up and Resource Provisioning. Automated bring up and resource provisioning means that literally everything of your SDDC platform is automated and installed and configured in a fully automated way. For example, you do not have to take care of deploying a vCenter server or sizing it or installing ESXi hosts or installing and configuring a Visa and data store, NSX components, NSX managers, NSX controllers, all this stuff you do not have to, uh, you do not need to take care for because SDDC manager handles it in an automated way. Second, we have a feature called lifecycle management. Whereas automated bring up and uh, resource provisioning simplifies your um, day zero or day one operations, lifecycle management is an ongoing benefit uh, which uh, is applied in a or is, is applicable in a VMware Cloud Foundation environment. It basically means that the deployment of patches and upgrades is fully automated. This means uh, for you as a customer that uh, you do not need to bother with um, product interoperability issues like which, which uh, component is compatible to which other component. For example, is my vSphere version compatible with my NSX version or uh, do they, do, does the ESXi host version go together with the vCenter version? This is uh, fully yeah, handled by the SDDC manager. And 
another consequence of automated li lifecycle management is that you as a customer do not even have to take uh, care of the sequence of actions when applying upgrades and patches of all these components, uh, vSphere, vSAN, and NSX. This is not necessary anymore if you go with uh, VMware Cloud Foundation and the SCDC manager. Third, and as a consequence of all of this, SDDC manager implements a fully standardized and prescribed architecture and design of your SDDC platform. Remember the times where you had to spend months and uh, weeks and months uh, with planning, designing and implementing an SDDC platform. This is not necessary anymore if you have VMware Cloud Foundation because you are up and running uh, within days at most. So SDDC Manager or VMware Cloud Foundation provides a prescribed architecture. This architecture, of course, is validated by VMware design experts in the background as part of their VVD efforts or VMware validated design efforts. Having discussed the general benefits of VMware Cloud Foundation, now the question can be raised what does it bring for a cloud provider uh, platform or for, uh, for a vCloud director context, let's say? So what are the special benefits there? Imagine we have a cloud provider DC or a cloud provider data center. On top of that, or in the cloud provider data center, VCD is obviously a runner. Then you have a customer data center. The customer data center runs an implementation of the SDDC platform. In our case, again, this is VCF. So let's highlight why, why is this a use case at all? Why does a customer, for example, does not bring its resources completely to the cloud provider data center? Well, um, in many cases, there are data privacy and regulatory requirements which prevent the customer running this customer data center to migrate all its data and apps to the public cloud provider. When this is not possible, uh, the cloud provider seeks ways to extend uh, its managed services portfolio down to the customer on-prem data center. But imagine having a customer data center managed by a cloud provider data center. This obviously imposes many challenges in getting an agreed architecture, design, and operational model. Typically, our customers run SDDC platforms in a highly individualized and customized way. Maybe each customer even runs its own implementation and its own standards of an SDDC platform. So obviously, it's hard to get an agreed let's say it here, contract, a technical contract between the cloud provider and the customer. This technical contract, again, defines all the technical details necessary uh, where the cloud provider and the customer have to agree on. And if you consider the highly standardized architecture and design mentioned here, which VMware Cloud Foundation provides, uh, you can conclude that Cloud Foundation 
and to a high degree at least, is able to automate this contract. Which is, in our opinion, a huge benefit as compared to negotiating all these technical details between the, between the cloud provider and the customer. When the customer runs a highly individualized environment, negotiating all these uh, details and agreeing on a technical architecture design and so on is much more difficult. And this is where VMware Cloud Foundation uh, uh, kicks in and brings simply a huge benefit. So we now have covered the basic characteristics and uh, benefits of VMware Cloud Foundation on the one side and on the other side, the special benefits where VMware Cloud Foundation brings added value in a cloud provider environment. If you seek for more information, please consult the documentation links in the description of this video. So, so this concludes our video. I hope you enjoyed it and goodbye.